Chest. Why didn't you block that one? I thought you had it. No! It's funny that we're still <laughs> talking. I could have sworn I hit a lung. <laughs> oh, there it is. Kakarot, if you're ever going to listen to anything I have to say, do it now. What is it, Vegeta? I've lived my entire life under Frieza's rule. My entire kingdom. My race was enslaved to do his bidding. I understand now. If it weren't for Freezer, you wouldn't be... Dying? No. I was gonna say evil. Oh, no. Mm. I'd definitely still be evil. Yeah. If this situation were reversed, this conversation would never have happened. You'd be dead, and I'd be laughing. <laughs> oh, it hurts to laugh. So, why are you telling me this? Because, Kakarot, you are our race's last hope. You are the last remaining Saiyan. Oh, God, you're the last remaining Saiyan. Vegeta, you... <laughs> Come on, you deserve a proper burial. I think oh, Nick's yes, proper burial. uncut joke is Vegeta wasn't dead, we were gonna bury him alive. Well, it was too dark. Space. Honestly, I'd say it's too good for him. I'll make sure to get Freezer one for you, best buddy. F's in chat. Goodbye. Come now, I'm sure he's in a better place. Uh, who am I kidding? He's probably in hell. I don't know. I went to hell once. The only real bad parts were these two oiled up German guys trying to wrestle me. Are you real? But now, I know what I have to do. I have to stop you! You're a heartless monster who kills everyone in his way. Even children. Oh, please. Everyone's always on about the children. children. I already tried leaving them alive, but all they do is grow up under my rule or dedicate their pathetic lives to revenge. Usually both. Mm. Really, killing them is a kindness. I can retract that kindness if you wish. But then who's the villain? You... you. N no, that was a rhetorical question. And I and gave I you a rhetorical, you a rhetorical answer. answer. Good lord, I traded Vegeta for this. We, it, at this point, we're like, oh, this is going to be great. Like, scripting it was going to be work. Scripting it was going to be work, but we realized any of his smart witticisms, because, like, Frieza is, like, the best way of describing it. If we took the television show Frasier and made it a DBZ villain, that is who Frieza is. Frasier versus Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Mm-hmm. Gohan, Krillin, Piccolo, get on out of here. I'll take Freezer myself. But Dad! No buts! Piccolo, you take care of Gohan. So, keep doing what I've been doing then? Yeah, huh? Yeah, I figured. Let's go. Oh, thank God. My favorite thing we always had was, in no way is Goku feeling insecure because, literally, Piccolo has become one of the default guardians now of Gohan. In our version of the show, we just made it so Goku was completely okay with that because Piccolo is an organized person who gets his shit done, and Goku respects that. Dad, beat him within an inch of his life. And hang him a blaze in trial! Wow, he sounds like he's had a hard time. Piccolo should really have a talk with him. Yeah. I see. Sending your friends off to fight me all on your own. How gutless. What? How is that gutless? Because suicide is the coward's way out. Oh, Can good luck. Fight now, son of a. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Now, uh, at this point, we really, we literally had to sit down, guys. We literally had to sit down and go through every single frame. We had to decide what we were going to keep and what we were going to throw out. This created a lot of situations where we just, 
lot of this was a lot of work, guys. These couple episodes were a lot of work. Anyone had the final say to keep? We kind of had a two to one voting rule at any given time, uh, just because if two of us like something, we can kind of veto the other person if they didn't like it. We're like, if the two of us liked it enough, but we knew that kind of came with a cost, so we couldn't do that all the time. So it happened every context. Myself and Kaiser would two one vote Lanny. Lanny and Kaiser would two one vote me. Me and Lanny would two one vote Kaiser. This would happen all the time. Uh, and honestly, that's one of the reasons why we were good writing teams, because all three of us came at this from such a different perspective. We all have entirely different ways we like parody. I, like, I was heavily inspired by, and you can obviously see with one of my parody, I was inspired by classic um, Mel Brooks movies, uh, Simpsons Season 3 through 9, and Clone High. That was my, that's my shit. So, yeah. Can't sense power levels. They're all missing. Fado, Cato, go. Ha ha, you can't sense my energy. No, but I can hear you, moron. You see a bad vision. Ha, you missed. Or did I? Yeah, you did. Well, no, I really did. You see? Not a hole on me. I wasn't trying to... You should really work on your aim. You know what? I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to let this next part be a surprise. What part? La, 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 la. Keep negative news now down on the minimum, guys. My butt is flaming! I miss Zarbon. <laughs> not me all. Wow, that was close. I was almost out of the frying pan and into the lava. Mm. How do you function? Hey, I'm just like any other guy. I pay my taxes one leg at a time. I'm going to drown you. I'm going to drown you like a sack of dumb puppies. What? Why would you drown puppies? Because they're cute and cuddly. Are you coming on to me? Mmm. <laughs> oh, man. This guy's strong. Okay, so I even I I think at this point we were writing the Lord Slug movie around this point. I think a little bit before this. So almost this line, hmm, what to do? I wanted almost hmm, what to do? Being a, I wanted that to kind of become a Goku catchphrase, low key. It never caught on. We only had it the one time in the in the uh, Lord Slug movie because eventually in every fight Goku just stands, crosses his arms, and goes, "Huh, this is a complicated fight. Huh, how am I gonna beat this guy? Uh, how am I gonna beat this guy?" <laughs> almost every time he does this, he just sits down, and goes, "Hmm, I can't just punch him to death." <laughs> I've got to catch him by surprise. Wait, he can't sense my energy. I know. Kame, Kame. Ah! This is the best idea I've ever had. Second only to the double bacon witch. A sandwich with bacon instead of bread. Come now, I've waited bacon. long enough. I know it's something new to you, monkey, but it's called a bath. Go, my children. <laughs> what? I love how racist Frieza is, Loki. <laughs> and that's just annoyingly distracting. <laughs> I love this. I absolutely love this shot, guys. Just look at that. It, it's just like, it's like it, it is a beautiful drop kick. Look at that beautiful drop kick he's doing right there, man. Look at that impact. It's like Frieza's full contorting, dude. He's fucking toy. Oh, that's a straight up hit. That's a straight fucking beautiful hit. It really is. Well, we, we made him racist, but against fake races that aren't real. So that made it more palatable. If we had him shitting on actual races, it'd be awkward. But it's just like, don't forget, like, this guy's an alien who thinks he's better than every other species on the planet Earth. And we have racists on our planet who think they're better than other ethnicities, even though we're all the same fucking species. It's so stupid. Imagine hating on somebody for the circumstances of their birth. <laughs> what a dumbass move. <laughs> You can hate on someone for their beliefs. That's way easier. Also more apt. About time someone kicked you to the curb. Nice work, Brain. You're welcome. Come on. By the way, everyone's response to the last, like the, the previous episode with the crab, we were like, crab can't die. Crab's alive. Who voiced Brain? That was uh, that was Kaiser Neko with his really good impression of uh, Maurice LaMarche and his impression of uh, that one actor. I always forget his name. You little monkey, what with your silly martial arts? But you know what the difference between you and I is? You can punch a board and it will break in half. I can punch a board and wipe out its entire race. 
but can you block? <laughs> I'd like you to meet my friend. A friend? Is he nice? Rock solid. Filthy monkey, meet General Mountain. Hi, General Mountain. My name's Phil. <laughs> I swear to God, this was my joke. Like, this is about the only joke I remember that was me. General, because we just didn't know what the fuck to do here. I think this was a filler scene, but he just picks up a fucking mountain and throws it at Goku. It's funny. It's like this boom. My name's Goku. I'm sorry, Mr. Mountain. <sighs> Want to play a game? Yes. <laughs> So how did you like that game, monkey? Uh, it was okay. What? You- It was not Donkey Kong, though. That is a pie level. <laughs> He's not reacting to any of it. Oh, God, that was so refreshing. Too bad it was all salt water, though. Okay, the reason why we have jokes like this is because we needed to cut away. Because we would have the fight going, right? We would have all this, and then we need to cut to the next part of the fight. But we didn't want to have to show all the footage from that part of the fight to the other part of the fight. So we have all the section we need to get rid of. But if we cut to another scene, we cut back to the beginning of the actual scene we need. So it's always imperative, in my opinion, at least for comedy, to have cutaways where you can cut to something else so you can reset what's happening in the master scene. This is a big thing. And at this point, we were grasping at straws because we had next to nothing to grab onto. This is one of the reasons why we had the Goldo joke previous episodes. This is why we had the General Mountain bit. This is just like, that's why we had the actual like high score thing as well. Same thing each time is that it resets the visuals. It, it, and, it, and this Bulma thing was just another one of those jokes. So you don't exactly know what's coming next. Bingo. So then you cut to the other scene and you cut back to, what are you cutting back to? We can cut to, we have cut to, we, have, we could have cut to anything. And that's a big thing. Too bad it was all salt water though. <laughs> all right then. How about this for another game? Mm. I'll fight without using either of my hands. With my hands. Okay. Mm. Then I'll fight without using my shirt. I think you're missing the point. Fight time now. <laughs> Haha, uh -huh, got your tail. What are you? Do you think this is a game? Well, you you said it was a game. I was dead. being coy, you imbecile. I'm trying to kill. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop it! Stop it now, or I'm going to. to... Uh, uh, huh, what's that? <laughs> I love that joke. I love that joke. I, I, I'm sorry. This is so, so, this is so funny. What are you doing? Stop it. Stop it now or I'm going to, to All right. You, uh. huh. What's that? No! <laughs> it only hits Krillin. Uh, he's gone. I'll have to keep on guard. All my vital areas. Oh no, my neck, my most vital area. Oh, what's wrong? Don't have anything cute to say this time. <laughs> Adorable. He's gonna choke me to death. Uh, Frieza is all caked. Up. Yes, yes, guys, I'm aware. Frieza's all caked up in this shot. Adorable. He's gonna choke me to death. Quick, Goku, use your instincts. <laughs> ah, son of a mother. You punched me in the face! You bit my tail! You punched me in the face! You bit my f***ing tail! Yeah, well I still haven't used my shirt! Does that mean I win? Yes! Yes! You win! <gasps> what do I win? Another, Another bath. bath! But I'm not dirt- <laughs> Favorite cut! That's my favorite cut! That's my favorite cut! I love that! <laughs> We don't even have to cut to Halloween, it's in the water, it's a- Yeah, no, nah, I'm telling you, I'm killing him, I'm killing him, I'm killing him. Yes, yes, you win. <gasps> what do I win? Another, Another bath. bath! But I'm not dirt- <laughs> Just tell me when you need to come up for air. Crap, lungs filling with water, muscles burning, brain, status report, 
Rest in peace. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. Ah, ah. Kakarot. Kakarot. Spookity, boogity, spookity, spookity. Let's wake up, dumbass. Uh, Vegeta? You're failing your race, Kakarot. Frieza's unlike any opponent you've ever faced. You need to embrace your heritage. Become the Saiyan that you were meant to be. Why are you naked? What? You're naked. Why? Idiot, you don't take your clothes with you when you die. Well, I did. What? Yeah. Even had my weighted clothes on, too. And I didn't even die in those. Huh. That lying red motherfucker! Anyway, listen, Kakarot. Inside you is the primal burning fury of the Saiyan race. Like a wild, raging Ozaru. You must unleash it, Kakarot! So, do I gotta throw my poo at him? Oh, for God! Just use your stupid Kai or whatever! Oh, okay. Thanks, Vegeta. Cough. I'm gonna go get my clothes back. So, any last words, monkey? You know, besides gurgle gurgle. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah! Oh, great delivery from Masako. No, seriously, Kyle, what? Kyle, oh, crap. I thought so. Seriously, what is that? Oh, yeah. That last attack drained all of his energy. We gotta help him. All right, Gohan. It's time to get in there and throw down. Really, Krillin? <laughs> no. Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> fuck no. I think I wrote that line with Lanny because I think we just pitched it. Ha huh? fuck no. Fucking kidding me, bro? Are you fucking kidding me, bro? <laughs> Now, what do you have to say for yourself, monkey? See, that could have been the intro right there, too. In a lot of ways, that could have been the intro. What do you have to say for yourself, monkey? Blah. It's like, I... Oh, that gag is fucking hilarious, because it's just, it's just the distance of him just kicking the shit out of him on the ground like a wrestler. Just like, ah, oh, God! I'm surprised he's, like, Frieza's not doing UFC knees. You know what? This is totally bogus. I'm going to do my best to ignore that you just used the word bogus. King Kai hasn't taught us crap since we got here. And what's worse, Piccolo didn't even have to train with us. He just sat and meditated all the time. You're just jealous. No, I'm not. Okay, a little. Hey, do you guys... All right, guys, we needed to cut the shit. This is our, one of the only times we ever used a filler episode this way. Um, so this is a filler episode that also happened during the, the Frieza fight. So this is my favorite kind of filler. This is where they use a mechanic introduced into the show. And in the filler episode, the Ginyu Force shows up on King Kai's planet. I, I'm not kidding. It actually happens, and it's funny. and it's not, But it's not as good as it could be, and that's the tragedy of it all. But we used it. Did you hear that? <laughs> Hello. Yeah. I've got his left leg. I've got his right. I've got his middle. Oh god, my Goldo voice. I got his middle. Hey, what's up? So, are you guys? Why's your attack? Whoa, little quick to the trigger there, Ace. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of lost my head there after I lost my head. Hey, I was just inside taking a crap. I'm old, takes me a while. Come out, there's a tree in my living room. What's up? We were just standing okay. around and talking about your awesome tr Okay, so, I, I, I wish Kaiser would give himself more credit for his King Kai voice. I fucking love King Kai. Kaiser's King Kai especially, or at least our abridged version of King Kai. Alright, what's going on, Fully here, okay? I, oh boy. What's up? We were just standing around and talking about your awesome training, and then these guys showed up. Look like a bunch of queers. Chao Tzu, we don't even know them. You shouldn't make such rash judgments about- 
well, we shouldn't think less of them for it. Good dodge. There we go. Good dodge. We dodged that bit. There we go. Step to the side. There we go. That's how we do Hi, it. Hi, Mikes. How you going? We're to take control of your planet in the name of Lord Freezer. Sorry about that. <laughs> ah, yeah. Good luck with that. All right, guys. Don't lose boss. That'd be you. Yep, all you, man. You're the boss. What? What? Raccoon has to fight this? He doesn't even come up to Raccoon's kneecaps. Broly can't even handle a... Okay, so this is, I think, the scene where literally Gon Jingba plays the most characters in one scene he ever will. Gon Jingba is playing three characters in this scene. He's playing Tien, Jace, and Raccoon all at the same time in this scene. Gut full of piss. I bet you can't even run a mile. You're blue! Yeah, all of you can just go straight to hell. Oh, yeah? And who's gonna make Raccoon? So there, so this is the beginning of Hippo, technically, guys, if you really think about it. Um, so um, there was a whole scene where they're actually fighting, and, like, it's kind of silly, and, like, Chaozu just, like, shoves Goldo off the planet. It's not it's, – here's the problem. The premise is great, but when the actual fighting happened, it, it, <laughs> the animation was really bad. Uh, just about Hippo, how Yama is reading out Ginyu's sins, but, like, believes the random frog on Namek was involved in the Jockstrap incident. Yep. <laughs> Oh! Maz, we have visitors! Prepare the camps. Ah, that takes care of that. Hmm, that reminds me. Wonder how Goku's doing. That's <laughs> about right. No, I can't lose. I have to beat you. You're evil, mm. and you have to be stopped. Oh, come now. If I'm really as evil as you say I am, then let God strike me down where I stand. Ha! Nice try, jackass. Next time, give it your A-game. In the middle of one of the scenes, a lightning bolt hits Frieza, and it just, like, it's, like, it's completely random. I forget what he even does. It's supposed to, like, show off his strength, I guess. It's just, like, we're like, all right, well, like, a lightning bolt hits him, so. Anyway, back to... What are you doing? Have to use a spirit bomb. The Kai joke for this is so funny that I still laugh my ass off at it. It's my only chance. Seriously, what what is this all about? Uh, are you trying to tell me you once caught a fish that big? I'm just stretching. In the middle of a fight. Yes, I have only one chance. But this planet barely has enough energy left as it is. Wait, I'll just draw from the surrounding planets. What's going on? He's just standing there with his hands up. Wait a second. He's using the spirit bomb! The spirit what's it now? Oh, no. Would you stop screaming? The spirit bomb is the only thing that can kill Frieza! Got off! <laughs> Too scared! Damn it! What is that fool yammering on about? He's talking about... About? Ghosts. Ghosts. Yeah, you know. Spirits. This part always gets me. I, I, <laughs> ghosts. Yeah, Goku's really bad at, at his lying. What do ghosts have to do with this? Everything. That's stupid. You're stupid. Stop being stupid. Or maybe I'm just being rhetorical. No, no, you're not. God, it's like you just use words you hear randomly to try and sound smarter. Huh. Well, now you're just acting transcendent. <laughs> If Goku can't focus on the spirit bomb, he doesn't stand a chance! I think the issue is less about him focusing and more about staying alive. I don't get it, though. Where's the bo-ho-ly balls? Wow. Is that the spirit bomb? It's massive. Oh my god, that thing's gigantic! It's gonna kill Frieza for Shut sure! Up. <laughs> there you are again, throwing your hands up in the air like you just don't care. don't care. Care, damn care, it! Damn it. Care. I love that line of dialogue. I th think that was, I think this one's mine. Care, damn it! <laughs> Fun shit. Damn it, this is bad. Dad. <sighs> I believe I'm done. As entertaining a punching bag you make, I find there is no more enjoyment to be found here. Wait, we could always play a game of 20 questions. All right then, first question. Are you about to die? No. Ah, ah, ah. No lying. Damn. Say goodbye, monkey. Uh, what? 
What ah, is that glare? My eyes! That's not a sun. It's not a moon, and it's certainly not a space station. What is that? What is that? What is that? Are we still playing 20 questions? You were planning on using that on me, weren't you? Yeah. I yeah. don't know where you got that much power from, but it doesn't really matter now, does it? Oh, I'm nuts. Looks like that whole Super Saiyan thing didn't pan out after all. <laughs> when you see Vegeta, tell him I said, like a like bitch. A bitch. What the Piccolo, what are you doing here? No talk time, plan now. Well, I still got the spirit bomb, but I need both arms to charge it. You'll have to distract him while I gather energy. Well, that's not so bad. For five minutes. And considering how bad he was kicking my butt, eh, I'm sure you can handle it. Did you just hold a grudge? And I... Okay, this... I love that we wrote that. I... <laughs> that callback is so great. It's so great. It's it's but here's the thing. It's the exact same thing again. Like the first fight with Raditz. It is literally a complete switch on that. We realized we're like, oh god, now Piccolo has to do this. Oh yeah. <laughs> sometimes the jokes just write themselves, don't they? Oh, sometimes it happens. Like we're like, oh my god, this is a complete switching. Just keep getting reminded of my failures. You mean your failure at killing me, or just in general? <laughs> You know, I think I have an insta fix for this situation. I'm going to blow you and this whole miserable planet to nothing. Isn't that fun? Go, go, just throw the damn thing! Can't, not done yet. What? How? It's only been four minutes and fifty-eight. Done! <laughs> what? Oh, somehow I completely forgot about that. <laughs> oh my god. Um, nom, nom. If I had any single regret for the countless horrific events that have transpired in my wake, it's that I'm dying. <sighs> Thank you, Del Nor. I, I like the freeze that thinks he's about to die too, because it's about, he's about to get hit by one of the biggest things he's ever been hit by. Dominating! Helen, <laughs> you're okay! I think I swallowed a trout! So, go on. Think he's dead? Helen, right now I'm more worried about my dad. Who do you think I was talking about? <sighs> oh, God. Helen, look! <laughs> All right, come on, you heavy bastard. No, no one actually helped me. That would be a little too much. They're both alive. Meat. Grandpa, I don't want any more baths today. I'm clean now. Dad! Oh, God, he went back to free Dragon Ball. <laughs> you know... I gotta admit, after what happened with Vegeta, I was pretty sure the spirit bomb was gonna be a dud. But we showed him what for. Yeah, you could say he suffered a bad case of freezer burn. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, not dead. K thanks, die. You. No. No. Yeah! Right in the tit! Why didn't you die? Oh, I thought that was gonna be me. Oh, you're next. Wait, what did I do to you? Remember my tale? Can't you take a joke? <laughs> 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 